I know where I'm going because I can hear the river. Just because you're a bird doesn't make you an expert, you know. Oh, g'day kids. Welcome to another episode of All Aussie Madness. Today, we're going on a down the creek adventure. Would you like to come with us? You would? That's great. Can I get an F5? You excited about our down the creek adventure today, Brian? What's that? You don't like leeches? Brian, nobody likes leeches. Do you like leeches, kids? You don't? Me either. What are some other crazy critters you think we might see that might be a little bit scary down at the creek? Did you think of mosquitoes and snakes? You're probably right. And you know what? When we're down in a creek like this, we have to remember that it's their environment. So we just have to take care and look out for them. But before we go, there's a few things I like to take on an adventure like this. Always a bottle of water because we need water to keep us nice and hydrated while we jump over the rocks on a nice warm day like this. And, oh, some binoculars. What's that? No, nah, I'm just kidding. It was nothing, kids, but it's always good to have your binoculars on hand. And, oh, Tim Tams, Brian, was that you, you cheeky bird? You like chocolate? Yeah, me too. What do you reckon, kids? Should we take the Tim Tams? I think you're right. Have you been on a down the creek adventure before with your family or friends, maybe? If you have, that's great. And if you haven't, guess what? You're gonna really enjoy today's episode and see how exciting it is. Last but not least, some AeroGuard. To keep away those mosquitoes we were talking about. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll definitely keep away the mosquitoes now, Brian. All right, kids. What are some interesting creatures you think we might see down at the creek today? Did you think of platypus? Yeah, maybe. And what about an eel? Oh, that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? And maybe some tadpoles and some frogs. A lyrebird. I don't even know if that's the sound a lyrebird makes. Oh, a stick. But you know what? It's a pretty cool sound. I like to have a stick with me when I go on my adventure because you never know when you're gonna need it. Just to keep your balance, whoa! As you take those quick steps across the rocks. Come on kids, let's get started. Come on, Brian. Brian, look! Wow, quickly! Come on kids, we've got to get there. Oh my goodness. This is an amazing find. You never know what you're gonna find when you get to the river, kids. Except when you get to a creek even. Wow, look at this. This is Eastern Water Dragon. Who? And it is a big one. And you know what that means, kids? That means there's gonna be green eastern water dragons somewhere. Come on, Brian. What's that? You don't like reptiles? Brian, you don't like anything. What's your favorite animal then? Cockatoos. Of course it's cockatoos, kids. What's your favorite animal that lives near the creek? Maybe have a think about it while we go see if we can find a lizard. Come on kids, let's go. Quickly, come look at this. Wow, a liar bird. Check him out. Come through here kids, have a quick look. Whoa, look at him. Can you see him? Did you get a good close look at him? 
Lyrebirds are birds that make all mimic different sounds of animals, lighters, chainsaws, all cool things that they hear. And they mimic it to make a attracting sound to their mate. Wow, kids. That's madness. Seeing a live bird like that and other creatures, but we still haven't found that water dragon. By the way, kids, I forgot to ask, have you thought about what one of your favorite Aussie animals is that you might find near a creek? Did you maybe say platypus? Or maybe it's a yabby? Or maybe it was that crazy eel? What's that, Brian? Yes, mate, we know. Kids, Brian's is the cockatoo. Brian, nobody cares. Let's see if we can find that water dragon. I wonder what other animals or insects we might find today, Brian. <gasps> Whoa, what's that? Looks like some sort of spider. Kids, check that out. Wow. See the legs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A spider is a part of the arachnid family, kids. To me, that looks like some sort of wolf spider. I'm not an expert, so don't quote me. But uh, I think we need to keep moving because we need to find this Green Eastern Water Dragon, kids. Come on. I really like creeks too, Brian. I know, it's so much fun. Do you really like creeks as well, kids? You know what? I think it's time for our Brian. Would you like to introduce it? Brian? Sorry, kids. You know what? I think it's time for our fun facts with Gerald. And today's fun fact, kids, is about, obviously, creeks. Did you know that the biggest creek in the world is right here in New South Wales? That's right. Billabong Creek in the Murray-Darling Basin. It's estimated to be at least 320 kilometers long. That's madness. But some people think that it could be up to 595 kilometers long. What? Obviously we're not right there today, kids, but how cool would that be? Can you imagine walking that creek? You'd definitely find tadpoles. Speaking of tadpoles, we need to find a water dragon. We better keep going. What's that, Brian? You think I'm scared of water dragons? Why would you say that? Don't be ridiculous, Brian. I'm not scared of water dragons. What's that, Brian? You want to see some frogs? I know you do, buddy. And kids, you probably want to see some frogs or tadpoles too, I reckon. You know, the only problem with that is that at a creek like this, see how fast moving the water is going over the rocks and everything? Well, tadpoles and frogs need a, sh a creek that's a little bit calmer because if they tried to spawn their eggs here, it'd all just rush down the creek and that wouldn't be good. So we probably won't see any today, Brian. And kids, I'm sorry, we might not get to see any either. But you know what? At creeks in New South Wales, you might see frogs um, like the striped marsh frog, the uh, eastern froglet, the uh, giant banjo frog. There's plenty of species that we can see when we're at a creek like this, but probably not today. But let's see if we can find that water dragon. All right, kids, we've had to go off track a little bit because sometimes when you're looking for water dragons, they're not always gonna be right on the creek. But, oh, Brian, look. It's an eastern green water dragon, and it's a big one. Now, kids, the thing is, because they are semi-aquatic lizards, they're not always gonna be right near bodies of water like creeks, rivers, and streams. But you just keep a lookout for them and you will see them. What's that, Brian? Can I catch him? But why do I need to catch him? To show the kids, well, that's a fair point. But I'm too scared. I'm not too scared, Brian. Well, he's a big lizard. I mean, what, you know what? I can, I'm not too scared at all. Just don't make eye contact, Brian. 
Kids, the important thing is that when you're trying to catch a water dragon, you move slowly because they're pretty quick. And this guy looks very quick. Brian, don't make eye contact. Yeah, it's one all right. I always have my hand out ready when I'm gonna catch a reptile, kids. Did you know that? A lizard is a reptile, and that's why they need a little bit of sun to heat up their cold blood. Oh, he's a big one. Don't make eye contact, Brian. Hey, come back here. He was too quick for me, Brian. No, he was too quick. I wasn't scared. Did you see how quick he was? Kids, you saw that, didn't you? All right, let's head back down to the creek and see if we can see any other exciting animals. Wow, kids, check out that little partelope. You never know the sort of things you're gonna see on a creek adventure. And that's the beautiful thing. When we stop and look and take in the environment, we're always gonna be surprised. Come on, let's keep looking. Oh, well, we've walked a fair way today, Brian. Kids, have you had a good time with us today? Woo! On our creek adventure. You have? That's great. And you know what? Being out in amongst nature, even if you don't see that platypus or that eel, it's its own reward just being out in the fresh air with your friends and family and experiencing the river, the smells, the sounds of the birds. You just can't beat it, kids. So why don't you get out there and enjoy nature? Oh, but before we go, do you remember our fun facts? You do? That's great. That's right, it was that Billabong Creek is the largest creek in the world by at least 320 kilometers in length. That's madness. Remember kids, did you open these, Brian? Always like, subscribe, and share with your friends at the end of an episode. And to just get out there and enjoy nature. Because you won't be disappointed. Well, it's time to go, but thanks again for joining us on our Down, Down the Creek adventure on All Aussie Madness. See you next time. Say goodbye, Brian. Say goodbye, Brian. Sorry kids, he's doing it again. See ya.